hello okay we're going to open the receptor without hydrogens as we did in the previous video here is the beta lactoglobulin the blg okay we're right now we are going to show the surface of the receptor here actions surface show okay here it is okay you can see here the calyx of the protein that is your our target in the docking well right now we're going to use tools and write the the ms okay it's important that we write for, instead of the ms just ms uh, in the name here okay right now we name it as rec period ms and then save it good everything it's saved and next we're going to open our terminal and we are going to use doc6 well right now i am going to use an environment variable to call doc6 that depends on your computer okay doc6 okay here it is and then we are going to go to the folder that in which we are working here okay enter oh sorry enter nice okay ls here okay here they are okay we're going to use an instruction called insph dot period in instruction okay here are the parameters we are uh, we settled we, we typed the name of the receptor here and then we the we type the four as maximum sph radius and 1 1.7 minimum p sph radius of the spheres okay we okay we're going to use this instruction sph gene and our instruction enter so the program created some new files here you can see them mm -hmm. it means the that means it's a lock that means that the program worked and then we're going to open our spheres here okay these so are the spheres that the, that the program found we are going to use the ones that are in the calyx which for this case it's just the uh, cluster number one well here you can see the all the clusters that are in this protein depending on well here are all all of them as one archive okay right now we are going to open another instruction that's sph gene cluster here we are going to select all of the cl the cluster number one this one that it's inside a calyx okay here it is we save it and then we go to a terminal okay we type this this command show spheres and then it's done so here we have another file that we can open in Chimera that is going to 
show us the spheres that we selected here. These are the spheres. Okay, we're going to make them bigger with actions and uh, spheres. Okay, here they are. You can see them. This is the cluster that we are going to use for the docking. Mm -hmm. It looks good. For the next step, um, we are going to create the grid that it's like the box that contains the spheres and contains the catalytic site in this case. Okay, we are going to open the terminal and we are going to create another instruction called grid no box in. Here is going to say how is going to be created the this this sphere with the cluster that is going to use. Here doc six we're going to call it and we're going to use it. Okay. Then here is the box. It's the it's the file that that contains the grid, and then grid in. We're going to fit this instruction with the file that we have just made, and um, with the ligand in order to make the grid. Ah, uh, make sure to to change this for the address that your computer has for doc6 in order to find this file so it so it work because that depends on every computer depends on where you you saved doc6 hmm? save it and close it okay here greet Okay, we are creating the grid. Okay, it's done. Here it is the program created two files that the docking in future videos is going to is going to use. Okay, thanks for watching this video.